lovers scorpio nation and their lovers my name is made for love and welcome to your reading so as you can see i'm out in the wild <laughs> in the background is my favorite tree and also my father's favorite favorite tree as well yeah i think i dreamt him last night what did i dream <clears throat> that he and i were climbing to the top of a mountain and he was so happy and he was so happy that i was able to reach um the plateau right on top so i think for a lot of you guys um this month or whenever you watch this reading you might be in the middle of some kind of ascension process um some kind of waking or maybe an activation okay yeah because you know summits ladders all all these things are all about Elev elevators and all of they're all about ascension okay so there, there's some kind of pinnacle um that you are going to um surmount whether it is um finally in a particular lesson or receiving some sort of activation um that's what you can look forward to now because i'm out here i am delivering spirit animal messages so whatever spirit and whatever animal comes into my space of awareness while I'm meditating upon your energy. That is the message that I will deliver. And what you guys got was actually the hawk. Because as I was meditating, I heard a chicken hawk. And I hope he's not looking for um, Rocky the Rooster's cousins because they're out here making noise. I hope they keep quiet. And apparently they can't because they're crowing in the background. Right? I saw a chicken hawk flying over. So um, I think that is... Um, your spirit animal for this reading so what are hawks about well first of all hawks are about laser focus so i think sp spirit is trying to bring your focus um to a particular um to a particular thing let's see what that is what does spirit want you okay since i'm gonna pull up my cards i didn't do this for, the, for this for the others but i'm calling through that for you what does spirit want you to focus on Laser focus on what? Five of cups. Heart healing. Heart healing. Spirit is saying right now it's time to focus on your own wounding, your own betrayals, your own pain. Um, in love and spirit is saying it's time to heal. We have the four of swords. So this is a time for healing. <clears throat> There's a time for everything under the sun and spirit is saying right now is your time for healing. Keep on pressing on. Um, it's your time for healing. So that is what Spirit wants you to focus on. Now, hawks are also messengers um, of the spirit world. So let's see if it's that message of healing or if there's another message um, that they want to bring to you. <clears throat> Besides what they will deliver um, in this reading. What's the message that they want you to know? Four of Cups. Okay, so it looks like in your life there's been some kind um of rejection um some sort of abandonment um some sort of missed opportunity hold on let me see if this is your your person hold on guys hold on we have the moon And we have the Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is that um, in this lifetime, you experience a lot of um, heartbreak and maybe even um, abandonment because I'm really looking at this person's face. Okay, some kind of abandonment or um, a really screwy time, particularly probably in love. Okay, a really screwy time. Maybe people... Um, have not lived up to their promises. Maybe people have not lived up to your expectations. Maybe you've always been left, you know, alone, alone and yearning. Okay, but Spirit is saying this is all orchestrated. It's all part of divine plan. It's all part of the things that happen behind um, the scenes or orchestrated by those behind the scenes in order to bring you to this place um, of groundedness which is the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles, you know, she doesn't need anyone. She might want someone in her life, but there's no yearning because 
she's enjoying her life. She has a lot of abundance around her. She's still operating from her heart space, um, but she is very grounded. So everything has been done in order to bring you to this place where you are not yearning. If someone came along, beautiful, lovely, but it's not something um, that you're <clears throat> crying out for. Now, Hawk Spirit is also about taking the lead um, when the time is right. Like we have here. Maybe you've been keeping your eye on someone or someone has been keeping their eye on you. We have the Page of Swords there. And we have the Star card. Okay, Aquarius Energy. So what am I getting from this? Spirit saying keep an eye out. Um, they're going to send you a sign. And this sign that you're going to receive from the universe, it's going to be a message to you that it is time to heal some particular partnership. Now, it could be a relationship with a parental figure, whether they are past or not. It could be a relationship with an intimate partner. It could be a relationship at work. But you're going to receive a sign, a signal from the universe, okay, that this person is going to be coming into your circle of awareness and they're bringing this person into the, your circle of awareness in order for you to heal. Now, Hawk Spirit is also about the power to see clear vision and it also signals that there's going to be some kind of um, increase um, of spiritual awareness or some kind of um, stronger bond made with the spirit world. And we were just talking about ascension. Let's get let's hear a little bit about that. Okay, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Which is Taurus energy. And then we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so what am I getting from this? I am getting that you are moving away from a more traditional, um, oh gosh, <laughs> the, the word is just slipping me, from a more traditional, it's not mundane, it's not mundane, anyway, a more traditional way of viewing things, or even maybe like a cut and dried way of, of viewing things, and embracing, um, and embracing, embracing, um, a more intuitive and heartfelt experience. Maybe in the past you were very rigid, and Scorpio can be like that. Maybe you were very rigid. Um, maybe you were. <clears throat> being stubborn maybe you're being resistant to change but i see here like you giving in look you look you're there you're fully most immersed in the water immersed in your emotions so i see a mu a movement from you being this kind of cut and dry person and moving into um this very watery experience which is quintessentially you you know, Scorpio is in very intense emotions, but it looks like for some time you might have been resisting that natural aspect of yourself, maybe because you're afraid of being hurt. But I feel this is you embracing who you really are, and, and, and Scorpio is very emotionally intense. Anyway, let's get into your reading, and let's get into what's going on with your person. So we're going to see how these themes of spiritual awakening... Clear focus and vision, leadership, and messages from the spirit world play out in your reading. So we have two of swords, um, which is conflict, but definitely could be mental conflict. Two, two truths um, battling it out. So it could be you and your person, or it could be both of you guys in your individual heads um, feeling very conflicted about things. All right, so what is the message from your person's higher self right now? We have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so <clears throat> some of you can definitely watch, I think, the Libra reading, because I think this was one of the first cards. 
um, that came out. So right now, I don't think um, that they are in a position to work on this connection with you. And we're going to pull cards and see why. For some of them, they may have lost their job. There may have been some kind of financial loss. And this has taken a toll on their self-esteem because their self-esteem is very um, integrally wound up um, with their financial um, acumen or financial stability. How are they feeling? Not necessarily related to you. We have the Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, Libra energy. And that's how I was telling you about that Libra reading. Um, they are bitter. There's something that has not turned out the way that they have wanted it to. There might have been some lies told to your person. But whatever it is, um, they are in a very vicious mood. And they are very defensive, hypervigilant um, right now because of something <laughs> that happened that they're trying to um, release. They could be with somebody else. There's definitely that. They can definitely be with somebody else and trying to cut that person out of their life. But there's been some sort of betrayal that's, you know, bringing out this, bit, this bitter energy that we're tapping into here. What are they healing right now? Okay. So we're tapping into someone who is very possessive. Okay. I see this person here. This is the Page of Swords. And it's about, you know, um, keeping tabs on you, keeping an eye on you. So it's a stalking card, okay? So it looks like this person, very possessive, very jealous. Their anger sparked very easily by what they may perceive. And not and not everything that they perceive might be true. It's just how, it's the skewed lens, you see, skewed lens. It's a skewed lens, yeah, because they see there's sunlight that's flashing off the end of this lens. So they can't see things properly, right? They have been blinded. Um, by their own insecurities, by their own ego. I really do think this is a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a jealousy issue. This person is very jealous, very possessive, and it, it comes because they're very immature. Mm -hmm. And they have very low self-esteem. And this is what they're trying to heal um, right now. Now, pages are children, and the page of swords is usually a child that can express themselves very well uh, with either the verbal or written word, okay? Um, it could be um, in their childhood, their voice was silenced in a particular way, so even now, they find it very hard to open up to other people and to even express their feelings um, and even to embrace their talents. Um, of writing or communicating verbally because they've been silenced for so long. So this is also something that they're healing as well. So we're going to pull the cards on all of these. We're just bringing them, bringing them out. What are they experiencing right now on their twin flame or soulmate journey? We have the chariot. So they're moving on. They are also in some kind of ascension process. They are being led by their spirit guides um, at this point in time. And their spirit guides is telling them it's time to move on. I think this person's been in a place of inertia for some a very long time. A very long time. Just kind of wallowing in whatever hurt and pain they're experienced. But spirit is telling them it's time to move on. It's time to take back your power because we see the sunflower here. So that reminds me of the sun card. And the sun card is the highest vibration of masculine energy. So it's time to take back your power and take the lead. So we see Hawksburg coming through there. What's their 3D message to you? <clears throat> there it is again. Hierophant in reverse. Taurian energy. We have Cancerian energy here. All right, Hierophant in reverse. So for some of you, if your person's with someone else, especially if this person is married, they want you to know... Like they are in the middle of some kind of divorce or some kind of, it, it looks like a tower moment, okay, where everything crumbles. Okay, so that foundation that they've built, that contract that they've had with somebody else, it looks like it's, it's over. It's over. But even though it's over, it's not yet time um, 
for them to work on this with you. They are still wrapping this up. This I think this is the message here. So let's go into deeper into these cards and see what else we can reveal. Okay, so their higher self message to you is eight of pentacles in reverse. Spirit, talk to us about that. Three of swords. Yeah, right now they are broken and there's definitely a third party there. Whether it's a mother figure that's blocking this connection, a father figure that's blocking this connection, um, whether it is another intimate partner or some kind of demanding boss, whatever it is, this person is interfering and blocking this connection. <clears throat> now, they want you to know that they do have feelings for you. Look, we have this Queen of Cups, Cancer and Energy. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Cancer. So they do love you. This is not the issue. The issue is there is some block um, that's in the middle right now. And your person, they are, as usual, standing at the crossroads. Not sure what to do. Or rather, they know what to do. It's just that they may not have... I don't want to say balls, because they don't necessarily have balls. <laughs> they may not have that fortitude right now um, in order to do something about it. How are they feeling? They are bitter. Why? We have temperance. Yeah, because they're in the midst of a karmic cycle. They are being tempered by spirit right now. Sagittarian energy. Eight of wands in reverse. Yeah, they are stuck with a karmic. For some of them, it could definitely be a parental figure. They're stuck with this karmic energy. But it's all to teach them a lesson about their own power and their self-worth. This is a lesson that's on hand right now. So whilst they're there thinking, oh my God, woe is me. Why do I have to go through this? Spirit is trying to get this person to stand their power and for this person to recognize their worth. Now, the Queen of Swords reverse for me is a verbally abusive karmic. So they could also be with someone um, who is very abusive. And yet they keep on staying in that situation, holding on to that situation because they've not yet recognized their value. What are they healing? We have the Page of Swords. We said it was jealousy. Yeah, we have the star card. Okay? You see, and jealousy comes from a place, as I said, um, of insecurity and inferiority. So this person, they're gradually recognizing their worth. And as they recognize their worth, um, they are shedding a lot of these negative emotions. We have the, you see, as I was saying about shedding, we have the four of pentacles in reverse. And, also, and that talks about releasing the things that don't serve you. The things that are holding you back. Okay. And we have a page of wands in reverse. And that's a child that has been abused. Whether physically and for some. Um, sexually. For some of them it's, a, it's spiritual abuse as well. Because it's wands. And this impacted your person's self esteem. They've been feeling worthless their whole life. They've had their guard up their whole life. Always thinking that somebody's going to betray them. Always thinking that somebody's going to hurt them. Yeah, we get you, buddy. We hear the betrayal. Yeah, and it's because they've been betrayed very badly in childhood. So this is what Spirit is asking them to heal right now. Now, what are they experiencing on their twin flame or soulmate journey? You see that they are moving forward. We have the Page of Pentacles. Yes. So I think there is some sort of idea, creative idea, um, that they have, that they are working on now. Remember, we talked about this Page of Swords being the writer. So it could be that your person's working on some kind of book, a memoir, or something like that. But whatever it is, Spirit is saying that this, this activity, this creative project, is going to allow your person to move forward in their life. But also, it's going to make your person very prosperous. 
there's a degree of notoriety that they are going to get um, from this book that they are writing. And they're writing about their dysfunctional family. Look, we have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Some of them are going through a divorce right now. Because Ten of Pentacles in reverse is also my divorce card. Yeah, they're getting rid of some kind of toxic connection in their life. But for a lot of them, they are writing about their experiences with their dysfunctional family and how this led to their addictions or how this led to them are manifesting their own toxic relationships. What's their 3D message to you? We have nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, they were, in the past, they were in some sort of connection. And, and they were really protective of it. And they were persevering. Okay, really fighting for that connection. But now they're releasing that. Yeah. It's something that they felt like they were stuck in. But they weren't really stuck. They were just stuck in the way that they um, perceived things. But now they're getting a higher perspective on their life. Just like the hawk, right? Now they're getting a higher perspective. And this higher perspective is allowing them to move on. We have the six of swords. Now, let's see how they feel about you. We're going to look at their heart space energy. We have the King of Pentacles, Taurus. So, so Cancerian energy is here, big Taurus energy um, and Libra energy. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Five of Wands. Okay. So it looks like they feel very conflicted um, about you. And the reason why they feel conflicted about you is that this person, they want to be your provider, protector. This is provider, protector energy. But in reality, in the 3D, they're in no position to provide or protect. I think this person has had some major financial loss or shakeup. Okay? They are not financially viable at this time. For some of them, it's because they are going through a divorce and their partner is taking them for all they've got. Okay, because we see this five of wands. This is people interfering. This is fights. This is drama. Bacchanal, as we call it. Okay, so they're not sure what to do right now. They know that they love you. We've seen that. They know that they want to provide for you. But it's, it's like now is not the time. That's the message. Now is not the time because there are a lot of people involved here. And these people are, are determined to make us think of things. Yeah. I told you. Some of them going through a divorce. Two of cups in reverse. There's a relationship that's ending. And it is drama, drama, drama. Um, evermore. Look, this third party here. This third party is not going away quite, um, quietly at all. They're not riding off quietly into the sunset. They are putting up a fight. And they are taking your person for everything that they've got. Everything. There are also truths that are coming out that are going to hurt your person. They're also spreading rumors about your person. Let me see what these rumors are. Whoa. <clears throat> we have the moon. And that's the things hidden or the unknown. Okay. So there are secrets that your person confided um, to this person that they're with. And it could be anybody, as I said. And, but I'm definitely picking up an intimate partner. And they're telling everybody about these things now. Then look at another card of secrets, the high priestess. So these are things that you don't even know about your person. It looks like they confided in someone. And this person is now telling all and sundry um, about their dirty laundry. Mm -hmm. They're telling everybody about it. <clears throat> now, union is an energetic alignment. So how are you blocking this connection, Scorpio? <clears throat> Spirit is saying you are in your own karmic cycle. There's something Spirit is calling you to end. Um, right now and for you to focus on okay i think we got that message um in the beginning your own wounding your own betrayal let me pull a card on it your own see 
your own heart. Spirit is asking you to heal. So whilst you think this person might be the hold up, because they might be with a karmic partner, Spirit is saying you also have karma, you also have lessons to learn. And it's also about your self-worth. And it's about your own intuition as well. Look at her hair. Her hair's very long. And hair is always a symbol of wisdom. So there's also, um, you're meant to embrace your own unique self. And part of that is your own spiritual journey and your spiritual gifts. How are you blocking this connection? We have the hermit in reverse. So <clears throat> you are also refusing to look at your deepest, darkest wounding. Okay, we have Virgo energy coming out here. Let's see what that is. Spirit is saying that right now you there's parts of you that are in distorted feminine energy. Now distorted feminine energy is energy that is manipulative. It's codependent. Um, it's clingy. Um, it can be abusive, especially emotionally abusive. Um, and it cannot nurture. It cannot nurture. And Spirit is also saying um, that the root of this can be found from some kind of distorted feminine in your life. Now, this person does not have to be female in body. They could have been masculine in body, but holding the feminine energy. And they're saying that your experience with this person <clears throat> is the reason why you have this energy within you. So definitely it could be a mother figure, a father figure, um, some caregiver. It's a caregiver, okay? Some caregiver, spirit saying, this is the root of your codependency. For some of you, and I don't want to be triggering, but I have to deliver the message. For some of you, that deepest wound, in it, it's... um. A miscarriage or an inability um, to have biological children. Okay. <clears throat> you get the page of pentacles. How are you blocking this connection? Let me see. So that could be childhood. What's it? Eight of Cups. You're playing it small. That's what Spirit is saying. You're playing it small. <clears throat> and you're settling for less than you deserve. You're settling for this tiny pentacle. <clears throat> Instead of asking for a big solid offer. Spirit is asking you to walk away from playing it small. Know that you deserve everything. Not just the crumbs that have fallen from this person's um, table. And the minute you walk away and you say no to crumbs, that's when this big orphan ace of pentacles shows up for you. But Spirit is saying right now, um, you have to walk away from crumbs in your life. If this person is only offering crumbs, Spirit is saying you got to walk away. Now, based on what we're seeing here, what can we expect will be this person's actions towards you within a month of you watching this reading. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, they're going through a divorce or a breakup. We have the Ten of Swords. I told you, it's an end of a very painful cycle for them. It's a cycle where they've been betrayed over and over again, stabbed multiple times, and lied to. Look, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So... <clears throat> I don't see communication from your person. Okay, I don't see that coming through. What I do see them is them dealing with a very painful situation where they've been lied to, where they've been manipulative, where they've been stabbed in the back. They're finally laying that situation to rest. Okay, so for some of them, it's through a divorce. For others of them, they have to move out or they're going through some sort of breakup. So what is the advice for you whilst your person's going through this? We have justice, okay? So Spirit is saying that your task right now, <clears throat> so more Libra energy, 
is to be as balanced as possible, to be as stable as possible, because justice will be served. Okay, maybe this person did you wrong. Spirits let you know that they are getting bad that karma. Okay, you don't have to worry. Karma has everybody's address, and it looks like it found your person. So your person, I think they're finally making the connection between the things they may have done to you and other people and what they're going through right now. Because it looks like they're going through it. This is deep betrayal and pain. Okay? But this is the way that the scales are meant to be balanced. So Spirit is saying, focus on your own karmic lessons. See how much balance you can achieve for yourself. And know that everything in this situation is going to be done for the highest good of everybody. Um, that's involved here okay art my love that was your green ah, I'm, I'm totally tongue-tied this morning that was your reading grateful for your likes share subscribe dislikes they all help my channel grow and if you're able to interact with any of the ads i may play during this reading that's a beautiful energy exchange for me um and please do it for any reader that you enjoy it keeps us independent on youtube take care bye